Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrows, and I have the privilege today of being here on Days Gone By Vintage Market page. Hello, everybody. I'm so sorry. We're a little late today. Technical difficulties. I'm not the most tech savvy person, and I was going live on someone else's page, so I apologize for the delay. If you're not watching this if you're not watching, if you're watching this red like button is not there, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you could just put in has comments, hashtag replay, just so I know you're watching and I could say hello to you and um, I can welcome you. Hello, everybody. Again, my name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's and thank you, Philip and Joy, for giving me the privilege of being on here today. Yay, it is working. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulties and that's why we're 10 minutes late so i so apologize but here i am yay all right we're going to be doing some holiday fun today guys holiday fun um i like to go to the different stores um thrift stores especially my favorite is restore habitat for humanity and find different um pieces of wood and stuff like that where you can do projects on and last year i found this how exciting it is hello tarita how are you fancy friend um if it's got some good bones pick it up now i already put if you can see that, it says give thanks. And you can see some, I think there's pumpkins on there. Bought, got this last year at Restore for Habitat for Humanity. A couple of bucks. And I knew I can paint over it and use it for something special. Hello, Luann. How are you? Thanks for coming on today. Sorry, I'm a bit late, guys. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to decoupage this. And we're going to be using Recycle Treasures papers. I'm a stockist for Re Recycle Treasures. They have some beautiful papers. You can find them on my website. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Denny. How are you? All right. So let me show you the one we're using today. It's so pretty. So pretty. It's so, it's like a whimsical print. It's so cute. And oh my it's a Santa. Let me get you closer. And it says believe. Isn't that pretty? Now it comes to, it comes to them. I love the word believe. So I'm using that. But if you love the world, word peace look at that so there's two santas on there believe and peace so we'll find another one for peace one day but i love the word word believe blah blah, blah. easy for me to say today <laughs> um but when i got this when i saw this paper i'm like oh my gosh it fits into the wood just perfect right so we're going to be using that today and then we are going so i, I just gave this a, a light coat I'm doing good, Denny. How are you? Thank you for the hearts, guys. It'll get into the feed a little bit more. Hello, Debbie Harris. And if you're new and I don't know you, come on, join my page. Um, I love to see new friends. Um, so I gave this a coat of white already, guys, because it's gonna need a. Got to cover this up. Uh, when you're decoupaging, first of all, you want to put a coat of something light on here, so your image pops. But you don't, I don't want to see any of that showing through. So I gave it one coat to get started. And so we're going to cover all this in white too. And then we're going to do some crackling here. And then we'll put our decoupage on. Good morning, Debbie Harris from California. Welcome from California. Oh, it's still early in California. I think uh, my friend Mara, I think it's, she's telling me we're three hours different. So I think it's nine o'clock in the morning. So good morning. It's afternoon here in New Jersey. That's where I'm from. And um, welcome. There we go. All right, so this should cover it. I'm glad I, you guys don't need to see me painting, covering up words and stuff, but that's why I did the first coat. And then we're gonna be doing some, I wanna make this look vintagey. I don't like anything to look new. So we're gonna do a little crackling on here. And then of course, we're gonna make the Santa look a little old. We're gonna weather him out with a little bit of um, distressed inks. Hello, Linda. Hello, Amy. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I appreciate it. And thank you again, Joy and Philip, for um, the invite to be on your page. I appreciate it. And Joy, a little birdie told me, Joy and Philip are also going to be with the Vintage and Thrifted event that I'm also in in November. How cool is that? They're going to be doing the live sale, guys. So um, mark your calendars, the Vintage Instructed Marathon. Oh, what's the date? I believe it's either December 4th or 5th. Oh, whatever that Saturday is. I should have looked it up. But um, we'll be putting more information about that when it gets closer. But they are doing the, um, hello, Jackie. Um, they will be doing the live sale, guys. And go check out their store. They have amazing things there. I wish I lived, uh, oh, the 5th. Thank you, Joy. It's the fifth. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, guys, I wish I lived near you in Georgia, near you. I would love to come and see your store in person. It looks spectacular. <gasps> November the 5th. Yeah. So guys, um, mark your calendars. It's going to be a great, great event. All right. So, um, we're going to be crackling this. So I want the, I'm going to paint this. I'm going to want the crackling that comes through to be white. And then we're going to put red on top because I want the red that's in the Santa here to pop out. So let's get this one painted white. And then we will put the red on top. Now I have a beautiful red that I love to use at Christmas time. Um, it's a, it's a, whoop. Let me put this down here while I do that. I don't want to get paint on my nice Santa. Let's see. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, junk therapy. Thanks for joining. And, if you just popped on and you don't know who I am, who's that girl there in the green shirt? My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrows, and um, welcome. Come check out my page. I would love for you to join me over there. And let's see. And um, my link tree is also on my page in case you're loving this Santa and you would like to go check out Recycle Treasures Papers. There we go. All right, so let's just put the coat on there. Thank you everybody for joining. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I do apologize again for being late. I thought it was gonna be easy to pop on, but Mr. FB was giving us another uh, obstacle to figure out. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not so easy. Okay, there we go. And so you just wanna paint it white. And then to do my crackling um, for this kind of, uh, for like a farmhousey look crackling, I just use the good old Elmer's glue. No something special. If I'm doing the fine line crackle, of course, you know, I used that before. That is something totally different. But for crackling, farmhouse looking crackle, plain old Elmer's glue, school glue, Works just as well. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. That'll get the um, this video in the feed a little bit more and more friends can come and join us. How cool would that be? Okay, so that should be, yeah, hold, let me, these little letters here wanna keep popping out. Give, it says, give thanks. <laughs> All right, so let's, Let's dry that, we'll put our glue on and then we'll get our crackling done and then we can put our decoupage paper down. I like to get the painting out of the way because I do not want to get any paint on my paper. <gasps> Hello, Tracy, <laughs> how are you? Thanks for coming on, I appreciate you. We're just talking about the, the Vintage and Thrifted Marathon or event that Philip and Joy will be hosting, will be on the live, um, live sale. First time wasn't good, Luann. You know what, can, can, I t can I be honest with you? It's a hit or miss. I'm telling you, the crackling's a hit or miss. Um, most of the time I get it, but there's some times where it doesn't work out so good, but guess what? It's paint. What happens, you just paint over it again. I mean, you have the glue on there, you might have to sand it down a little bit and then to, to restart, but it's a hit or miss, the crackling. So try it again, Luann. And um, it should, it'll work for you one of these one of these times. <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you everybody for joining me and again. I'm Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's, and welcome. I appreciate you all being here. All right, so I'm pretty much dry. All right, so the red that I'm going to put over this is one of my favorite. Let me show you what it is while we're waiting for this to dry. It's just plain old apple barrel, but the color is Tuscan red, guys. It's a really pretty antique red. It's not a, a bright, bright Santa red, um, which um, is okay depending on the project you're doing. When you're doing something that you like to look vintage and old, this is gonna be your, um, this is gonna be your to go to red. So uh, just be careful, Deco Art has a Tuscan red. Uh, I bought once, I'm not, I'm, you know, I didn't even really look that it, see that it was an apple barrel. I got it home, it's not the same at all. So it has to be Apple Barrel Tuscan Red. The Deco Art Red, the Tuscan Red is red. It's, it, to me, that's like a Santa Red. 
So that's not what I'm, that's not really what I want today. So, and then um, there's also, a, well, I'm happy here, let me show you real quick. A color that goes really pretty with that by Apple Barrel for Christmas is called English Ivy Green. These two are a match made in heaven for anything that you want to paint for Christmas, that you want to look vintagey and um, like an old feel Christmas. These two colors are fantastic. And around this time of year, if you want to get them, get a couple of them at a time. Take my word for it because they go by, they go for sale quick around this time of year. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now let's get our Elmer's glue and put that a coat of glue down. And then we're gonna put this red paint over it. So I just take my Elmer's glue, I buy it by the gallon, and I just put them in a squeeze bottle. This way it's easier, one, two, three, and then you can just, hold on, there we go. And you could just put it on, just make sure that's dry, yeah. And then just put your glue on, just see, when you got it in a squeeze bottle, Look how easy that is. Now, the more glue you put on, the thicker the crackling. The thinner you do, the less crackling you get. So depending on how much crackle you want, depends on how much glue you put down. Now, I wanna see a lot of crackle. So I'm gonna put a decent coat of glue down. There we go. There. All right. Just like that. And we'll do the same with this. This side, and I like to see a lot of crackle. So I'm putting a lot of glue down. Hello, Cindy. Hello, how are you? Thanks for joining today. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had some nice weather. Here in New Jersey today, not so great. It's cloudy and rainy. And it's actually, I don't mind it so much. It's like a, it's like a raw, damp, all day here in New Jersey. The leaves are turning all the beautiful colors and uh, I don't mind it so much. And when I, it gives you a chance that what you say you want to come and crap with everybody. Stay in your craft room and just create all day. I love it. Okay, there we go. Now what you want to do, hold on. Now you want to take your dryer and you just want to dry it a little bit. You want, you, you want, you don't want it wet. You kind of want it tacky but you don't want to dry it all the way. If you dry your glue all the way, you're not going to get the crackling effect. So you just want to dry it until it's tacky. All right, while we're doing that, let me get my brush ready. Let me get my red ready. Okay, let me move my white out, put that in the water bottle. Okay, so remember, it's Tuscan Red by Apple Barrel. Okay, so Luann, fingers crossed that this works today. <laughs> Oh, it's the same in Connecticut. Yeah, I know, right? I, Connecticut, you're right in my backyard. I live in the most northern, western part of New Jersey that, that there is. I'm there, Pennsylvania, New York, up that way. Okay. So you can kind of tell when it's starting to get dry, your glue doesn't look as shiny, if that makes sense. Your glue will not look as shiny. Yeah, it's still wet, it's still wet. Aw, oh, thank you. Yes, yesterday was my, no, not yesterday. <laughs> the day weekend went by so fast. Saturday was my birthday. So thank you, yes. I brought my son home to college, yes, back to college yesterday. Bittersweet. It's always nice for him to come home, but when I have to let him go back again, oh, oh, the tears start flowing. Yikes. Oh, it's thundering. Stay safe. Stay safe. But no, we had a nice weekend with them home and it's always nice when they come home, but I'm like said, oh, you know, when they go back again, it's it's bittersweet. Okay. And this should be pretty good. All right. So now we're using apple barrel Tuscan bread. Let's put some down here. There we go. Now let's put that on. All right, now wait till you see. This is like when you're telling it's very, very vintage red. Now you kind of want, now you want to go in one stroke. You don't want to 
push it like that because then you're going to be pushing your glue around if that makes sense so if you can kind of get enough on your paint your brush and kind of do it in in just like one stroke just like that you don't want to put your you don't want to move your glue around because that'll take away some of your your crackling Okay, all right, and you know what? Let me, whoop, let's get this side too while we're at it. Let's dry this a little bit. And that'll start crackling by itself if it starts to dry. <gasps> Good morning, Tabitha. <laughs> you got your fingers crossed, me too, Luann. <laughs> oh, yikes, 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 I got my fingers crossed too, we'll see. Oh, what, what's the worst, like I said, it can happen, sand it off. And we'll start all over again, but it should be beautiful. Now, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm definitely going to put red here. And that's starting to dry a little bit on the top, and I think I see some crackling, guys. Good morning, Tabitha from Oregon. We have some Oregon in the house. Yay! Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And thank you again, Philip and, and Joy, for the uh, invite. I appreciate it. So, so much. And if you just popped on and you're saying, who's that girl there? <laughs> my name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's and welcome. And please go over to my page, check me out. If you like what you see, follow us there. Follow the Fancy Friends family. That's what we are over there. We are family and we call ourselves the Fancy Friends. Oh, thank you, Lou. Yes, and please go follow Joy and Philip. They are such nice people. And wait till you, they have pictures of, oh, they, I saw before Joy, oh my gosh, that, those Santa faces. Guys, go check out these vintage Santa faces. They are just amazing. They were wow. They were just simply wow. Yes, we sure do, Luann. Thank you, Amy. Okay, and let's do the same thing with the red here. Yes, we like new friends. Uh, that should be okay. All right, now let's put our paint on. There we go. Then try. There we go. Just try to get it in, in one full swoop. If you can't, it's going to be okay, but just try the best you can. Oh. There we go. And then I'm just going to want to get in here too. I'm starting to see some crackling happening before my eyes. And I want to get this down here too. Excuse me, guys. There we go. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the edge on the bottom, guys, because you're going to be putting your paper down anyway. There we go. And do the same thing over here. There we go. Alrighty, now, fingers crossed, Luann. Let's start to see some crackling. Ah, uh, thank you, Tabitha. I appreciate you. You guys are so kind. Thank you. Let me get that paper up. There we go. And let me show you who just popped on. This is the decoupage paper we're going to be using today. The Santa Believe. It's not going to be so pretty. It's going to be beautiful. And that's a Roy Cycle Treasure Paper. Ah, oh, Luann, looks like it's working. <laughs> it looks like it's working. You hope, you know, you know, you go on someone else's page and you want to do the best job you can. And sometimes you say, oh, I hope it works. It's working. It's working. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Yay, it really works. Put the hearts up like it's 4th of July and what it will do is get this page it'll say facebook will say oh there's a party going on there and put us out in the feed more and hopefully more people come and join us isn't he cute and i, I just love the saying believe i did the other day if you saw the um this the stencil believe believe in the magic of christmas oh, i just love the 
for Christmas. I just love the belief. <gasps> Look at the crackle, guys. Can you see? I know. Show me the hearts if you can see the crackle. Yay! We've got crackle in the house, guys. We've got crackle. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at that thick crackle. That's because I put the, the glue was on the thicker side. You put the glue on the thinner side, you'll get thinner crackles. Thicker glue, thicker crackles. Crackles. Easy for me to say, huh? Easy for me to say. I know. Don't you love that Santa? So cute. So when I got these papers in stock, I said, oh my gosh, I said, this board is going to fit us. Because that's a big Santa. So you need a pretty big board to put them on. And um, I'm like, wow, that's going to fit there perfect. So guys, you're at the thrift stores, you're in the any stores. I was in the Christmas tree store the other day. They have boards for different, you know, for the fall and stuff that's on sale. Get them, you can paint them over, you can turn it into something for Christmas. There we go. Looks good, guys. Let me show you. Okay, so let's, let's get the other side. Fingers crossed, this starts to crackle too. Let's see, yeah, it's crackling. There we go. And then we're also going to hit this also with the um, the distressed um, inks, guys. Um, to even make it look older. You know me, I don't like anything that looks new. <gasps> looks like vintage wood, right, Denny? Yes, thank you. That's the, uh, that's the look I was trying to go for. That was the look I was going for. But this is the red. This is the, I don't know, I've been saying it for weeks. That's the red you want to use if you want a red that's like a vintage-y kind of red. That's that's the, what you want to go pick up. And, I, and um, where is it? Apple Barrel? I think it's Walmart. You know, I keep forgetting where all the paint, different paints come from. There we go. All right, so let, we don't need that anymore. Let's, well, maybe I do. Oh, let me get the... While I'm doing, while we're waiting for the crackle, let me just paint right here. While I got my brush out, before I put it in the water, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, look at that, guys. Can you see the crackle? That's amazing. That's what you're looking for, and that's all just from Elmer's glue. That's all it's from. Okay, there we go. How great is that? That looks so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Let me show you. There we go. Can you see the crackle, guys? It's still a little wet. It's still a little shiny, but it'll dry while we put that. Look at that. So pretty. Now we're going to deepen it a little bit with the, um, with the archival ink. Okay, so let's put this aside and let's get our paper out. There we go. Okay, so let me... Woo! Hold on, guys. Let me... There we go so nothing gets paint on it. Okay, let me get my scissor because we're only using one side of this paper. So let me cut it. And let's see. And then you could, and there's a line right where one paper starts and the other one ends. Okay, so this, this cute little Santa that says peace, he is going to be put over here for another project. And we're going to be working on this one right here, believe. How adorable is he? Okay, let's put this back up here and let's see what we're going to need to cut it. Can you guys see? There we go. All right, so we're going to put that there. And... And you just take your fingers, guys, and you just, okay, I think, let me put that up here. I'll go right where the stars start. This way I can get a little bit more of him in there. There we go. Okay, and then you just take your fingers just like that, and you kind of make a little indent with your nail or, you know, a sharp object, and then you'll know exactly where to trim it and where to cut it. Okay, and then the same thing. I'm gonna do here. Okay, and you just take your finger. This is what I want. Make sure, yeah. Okay, 
and you just make a rough edge just like this just like that and then you make your edge here just like that and then when you lift your paper up as you can see you'll know exactly where to trim it when you're trimming it though give yourself a little bit of extra leeway just in case you didn't you didn't mark it exactly if that makes sense um just give yourself a little bit more extra leeway there might go. okay because you're going to sand it down anyway with a um a sanding pad when you're done just to make sure that you get a nice clean edge so give yourself a little bit of leeway when you're cutting it there we go and just like that i'm giving myself a little bit of leeway right here oh the paint wasn't dry i see that okay now usually i say keep your scraps scraps are golden but i i don't know if you can really do anything with those Go. Now the paint, um, I mean the paint, the decoupage medium that I use is Paint Couture decoupage medium and in shine. Now it says shine, it's not shiny, it dries like a satin, guys. But if you go to order it, it'll say shine, but it dries like a satin. There we go. There we go, so it's all cut. Okay, let's get started. And then I have a little tool that I do use, a little squeegee, where is it? Here we go. And this is what I like to put my decoupage paper down with. You can get them on Amazon. It's a little squeegee, just like this. It has a little felt on the edge. And I keep it in a little plastic bag. Once it starts to get a little yucky, I'll get a new plastic bag. Just so if any decoupage medium comes out, it doesn't get on this and um, ruin it on you. So you put it in a little plastic bag. Once if this starts to get a little yucky from the decoupage medium, you just get a new plastic bag. But this is what I use to um, get all the air bubbles out. Okay, so you wanna start on one end and go to the other. All right, so let's get a brush again. Let's get these scraps out of the way, just like so. All right, and here's my decoupage medium. Also keep them in a squeeze bottle. This way they're easier to to um, use and take out when you need it. Okay, make sure, there we go. Make sure I got the right right end up. All right, so I take it, I give it a shake. Uh, Tabitha, I am a stockist for Roy, Roy Cycle Treasures. They are, they are on my website. And my website, you can find um, on my link tree on my Facebook page. But it's www.yesterdaystomorrows.shop is my website and they are Roy Cycle Treasures decoupage papers. Roy Cycle Treasures. But you can find my link tree on my Facebook page. Okay, so you don't want to do the whole thing at one time. By the time you get to one end, the other end will be dry and um, you're not going to get it to lie nice and even. There we go. Just like this. Okay, so we start with that. Okay, now just, you're welcome, Tabitha. You're so welcome. Okay, whoop, whoop. All right, and let me stand up. Make sure I get Mr. Santa down right. And there we go. All right, now I get my little squeegee. To make sure that he's on right. Now, with this decoupage paper, because it's such great quality paper, um, it gives you a little wiggle room. So let me just show you what I need. If I needed to lift that up, there's absolutely no problem. It's not like a tissue paper where it's going to tear. So it's no big deal. Now, um, if you mine wrinkles, you can get them out. I like when things have wrinkles. I just don't like the air bubbles in it. This is why I use this. But if I experience any wrinkling, I try to keep, them in, keep it in because I just think that it gives it more of a a vintage -y old look if it's wrinkled. You don't like the wrinkles? By all means, get them out. Now, if you can see what I'm doing right here, I'm just pushing, I'm just getting the air bubbles out. That's all I'm doing. I'm just getting the air bubbles out, just like so. 
and then you want to go one way, you want to go the other way, and you're just going to get the air bubbles out, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to, ooh, it's a little wet. Hold on, let me just dry this a little bit. This is still a little wet. The glue, the glue underneath really sometimes makes it take a little bit longer to dry, guys. There we go. Got a little bit of red on my finger. And it must have been a little piece that's still not dry. There we go. Okay. When, okay, so when you do this, you all you want to do, lift this up again. Okay. And you want to bring it back ever so slightly to where you left off. And then you want to start again. Okay, there we go. And you just put your medium down, whatever you want to do. You can use uh, Mod Podge if you like. You can use Mod Podge. The only thing with Mod Podge is that it will yellow over time. Mod Podge does not have a yellowing agent in it. Um, so it will yellow over time. How much time? I have no idea. <laughs> so, yo, you're so welcome. So I don't know how long it takes for, if you use Mod Podge for something to yellow, I just know that it does not have a yellowing agent in it. So if you're worried about that, get a get a product that that has a yellowing anti-yellowing agent in it and you can use that. And this um Pink Couture decoupage medium does have a yellowing agent in it. Okay, so then I just take my handy dandy little little squeegee. That's exactly what it's like. It's just like a mini squeegee. There we go. Just go like that and get it down. Look how cute that Santa's looking. <gasps> Adorable. Okay, and then I go this way just to make sure. Now, don't, you don't want to go hard. Just all you need to do is go easy. You don't want to tear the paper. I mean, it's high quality. It's 18 pound paper. It, you know, um, it's not easy to tear, but you can tear it. So just, you know, do it easy. But you just want to get the, I'm um, just getting air bubbles out. That's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to do anything else. So there we go. Okay, now same thing again. Lift it up. See, you can see the glue right here. That's where I ended off. I just peel it back ever so little bit, ever so little, just to, um, one thing, I need my brush, just to um, make sure that I'm getting every single spot. Now I should be able to just to finish the rest of it. There we go, let's go all the way down. All the way down. It's beautiful. If you have never used um, Roy Cycle Treasures papers, um, try them. They're really nice quality papers. They really are. And um, like I said, they are very forgiving. Let's see if you've never decoupaged before and you're worried about decoupaging uh, because of the quality of the paper. It's hard to mess it up, it really is. All right, and there we go. And then we're gonna lie this down, just like so. There we go. All right, now taking my squeegee and just putting it down, just like that. This fits perfect. Oh, well guys, isn't it so cute? Look at that, he's adorable. See, now I left a little bit over the edge, see? You want to give yourself a little bit, when you're cutting, give yourself a little bit extra, just so, if you, you hate to be too short, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? You can always cut off, it's hard to, it's a little harder to add on, if that makes sense. Okay, all right. And me, this has a little, which I'm, look at that. <gasps> There is a crease, I love it. I love the wrinkles. Some people don't like wrinkles. I love wrinkles. Wrinkles don't bother me. Wrinkles do not bother me, I love them. <gasps> love it. There's a couple of times where I did a project, I didn't get a wrinkle and ah! Oh, I was like, I didn't get a wrinkle. I was upset. I think it gives a character when there's wrinkles. I, do, I don't like a piece. It's like, you know, it's like something that you buy from like, I don't even know. Like home goods, you know, where it's perfect. I don't want it to, to, it to look perfect. Okay, so I'm just drying this a little bit here on the ends before I sand it off. By you doing that, it's easier for it to come off. Um, another tip is when I'm using higher grade paper, like this paper, which is an 18 pound paper, I use a, my grit of my sandpaper is a little higher. I use about an 18 grit. 
I mean 18 grit, that's 18 pound paper. I use about 180 grit paper. I know a lot of people use 220. I use a higher grit because, I mean, it'll come off, but it's gonna take you forever to start sanding. So my grit is 180 grit is my, my paper I use. That's an FYI. There we go. And yeah, that's pretty dry. Okay, so now I just get my sandpaper. piece out here before well, maybe I did it oh yeah I did okay here it is and then I just get a sanding block and then I just get the sanding pad the, the sheets just like that and I just wrap it around just like so okay and then just go sand it off and see how fast that sands off it's because of the the grit of the sandpaper guys if you had a 2020 it will come off but it'll just take a little bit more elbow grease to come off go. Ooh, that's not dry right there. <gasps> Got some red on my finger again. There we go. Okay. And we got a little on this end too. There we go. Okay, let's spin them around. And let's get it off here. And then we're gonna hit it with to make it even look older. I'm going to just stress it out with, I love my Tim Holtz inks, and I'm probably going to use the color Ground Espresso. I like to use Vintage Photo, but I think a Vintage Photo might be a little bit too light for this. I need something a little darker, so a little darker is um, Ground Espresso. There we go. And all right, let me just get let me just get little stuff off my hands so I don't get anything on the paper. All right. So look how cute, guys. Is that adorable so far? Look how cute he is. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, so let me just dry this a little bit more. If you see it looking shiny, then you know it's not dry all the way. That's the trick. Now, I will put another coat of... The decoupage medium over here on top of this, um, it's not done yet. I like to let this dry for 24 hours before I add my next coat of decoupage medium on it to seal it because you have to understand it has two coats of paint underneath it right now, which aren't totally dry. Now I just put a coat of decoupage medium on it. So it's going to take a while for, for those two coats to really, really um, dry. Um, so I do not put another coat, uh, I do not seal it in, for, I wait 24 hours. And then you're going to get a really nice look. If you do it sooner, um, it's, sometimes the paper buckles, um, it'll, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just better to wait to seal it. Especially if you had, especially when you decoupage, you always usually paint underneath it. So you kind of want to wait because like you said, there's two coats of paint and it's got decoupage medium. That's a lot of stuff underneath, underneath here waiting to paint. You like my tree? Thank you. Yes. It's almost time to decorate it for Christmas. On my page, we have everybody who, everybody sends in ornaments and we have our tree trimming party and we put our ornaments on our tree on a certain night. We do some giveaways and uh, gift aways. Gift aways. We do some gift aways and uh, it's, it's fun. This will be our second annual. It's a lot of fun. So if you would like to be part of that, go check out my page and my address is on my Facebook page. Send an ornament and uh, the ornament goes on the tree. Oh, Luann, time for work. Have a great day at work, Luann. I appreciate you coming by. Okay, we are almost done. So let me just show you real quick what I'm gonna do, use. Now, because you're gonna put top coat on here and on here, you wanna use a ink that is um, waterproof, which is Ar Ar the archivals, okay? If you use the distressed ones, they are not um, waterproof. And when you go to put a second coat of your Mod Podge on, or whatever the decoupage medium that you are going to use, it will smear. 
So you got to, you have to make sure that it is waterproof. If it's not, it will smear on you. So that is why we are using today the archival ink because the Grand Espresso does come in um, the distressed, um, distressed inks also. So see there, Grand Espresso. Okay, so I put a clean tip on here. I don't know, we're gonna see if this shows up on here. If not, I might even have to go a little darker for this because I wanna age out this wood a little bit too. Well, let's see. Okay, let's see if it will. No, you can't really see it on the red. So I'm gonna, for here, I'm gonna do it on here. And then for this, on the wood part, I might have to go a little deeper, which would be um, black soot would be the color I would put on there. Okay, so I go like here and just rub it off a little bit. And then you don't want, remember, you don't wanna go like this because you're, you're gonna get a circular dot. So you kinda wanna go in and out, in and out like this, okay? And just like that, because you want, you're wanting to edge it out because we want this to look old. But you don't wanna go down like that. You're gonna get a circle mark. It's gotta go in and out, in and out, just like so. See how it's just starting to edge that, edge it out, and it doesn't give it, it gets that new feeling out of there, which I love. I don't like the, I like, I want this to look like this. This is, this was made a long time ago. All right, can you see? Let me show you. There we go. Can you see how we're edging it out? It's making, that is making that look old now. Love it, love it. How are we doing with time? We're doing good. Okay, and we're gonna do the same here on this side. Remember, in and out, in and out. Just like so. I'm gonna do some around the bottom too. In and out, in and out. Just like so. There we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna go, actually, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes I want, sometimes I take an artist brush to do around the edges here, guys, because I do not want that circle to come on there. Uh, let's see, here we go, okay. So you can take an artist brush just like this, get some on your artist brush, just like that, and then just do it in a swirling motion to get it on the bottom like that. If you took this, it's gonna it's gonna give you the circular motion, the circular look, I should say, the circles, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I just do it with a little artist brush and then I just go around and get on the bottom. And all, if you have any little, little crevices from the paper, this ink is going in there and really making it look old, guys, love that. Love that. It's getting it in all the crevices. And that's what you want to look for. There we go. All right, and let me do the same thing on the top. And this is a good technique if you want to, if you have a picture frame and you want to get into the corners of a project, because when you're doing this, it's hard to get in the corner if you had a piece of wood right there, if that makes sense. Just take a little brush like this and get into the, all the nooks and crannies that way with the artist brush. But you still do it in a circular motion because you don't want a straight line, if that makes sense. Okay, just like that. There we go. And it's really aging it up. I might even go in a little bit there we go, just like that. And you can go crazy with this. You can go, you can, you can go in a little bit more if you like. It's up to you. All right, and then let me just show you. And then we'll be done. Okay, so this is called black soot. Okay, you want to change out your pads, guys. You do not want to use, you know, don't mix your browns with your, um, your different colors. So then I, when I'm done with them, I just save them in a little teeny thing I have right in here. So if I'm looking for, okay, here's my gray, here's my brown, and then you just you just repeat. But if you don't have one, if, you have, if you're starting to look pretty shabby looking, grab yourself a new one. There we go. Okay, so I wanna put a little, I need to edge out. There we go. I need to edge this out too. 
There we go. So now, there we go. See, the black is showing up more here. There we go. And you, you know, edge out the corners really nicely. I think when you edge out your projects, it just, it just finishes them, it completes it, um, then leaving it just plain. There we go. And most of the time I will edge out my projects with these inks or a glaze or something, but normally it's the inks. There we go. See, it's just, if you could see the, let me show you. I'll bring this closer to you. You need to get one of those lights that zoom down <laughs> and you can see exactly what somebody's doing. Once I get techie enough to figure, us, us creatives, we are not techie. We uh, like to make beautiful things and things like that and technology. Uh, well, for me anyway, I should speak for myself. <laughs> Doesn't come that easy to me. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by the, see how the bottom, if you edge it out in the black, it looks just so, it can sit, there's the plane without it. And see, when you edge it out in the black, it just makes such a difference. Uh, when you edge it out. So this is black soot, guys. Black soot. And it makes a difference when you're done your project, when you finish your projects. So like I said, I will go ahead and I will put another two coats of the decoupage medium over that to seal it. In between each coat, I will wait the 24 hours again. And when you do it, put thin coats. Do not put thick, just do two thin coats. Um, and wait the 24 hours in between and um, your project will be perfectly sealed. You'll never have to worry about it going, moving anywhere. And it should be totally great. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. I think we are done, ladies. And there she is. Oh, look at that believe. It's so cute right here. I gotta touch that up, my finger hit it. <laughs> I gotta touch up that little bit of white. I will touch it up with the red and it should be fine. But there we go, that's my project for today. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate Philip and Joy for giving me the honor of being in their, on their page today. Days gone by vintage, days gone by, I'm getting paid on me. Days gone by vintage market. Thank you everybody for joining me today. And my name is Kim, you just, Popped on. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Please come check out my page. We would love to have some new friends over there. Hello. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate each and every one of you. And again, thank you so much, Joy and Philip, um, for the invite. I'm so looking forward to getting to know you better, getting to know your page better, and looking forward to you um, being in the um, the uh, Vintage and Thrifted uh, event with us. That's going to be so much fun. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. And enjoy your Monday. And um, take care. And like I say, um, every time after my lives, um, please keep everyone in your prayers. God knows who needs them. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Bye.